Welcome to spoken tutorial on journal entry and balance sheet in front accounting. In this tutorial, we will learn how to pass a journal entry, see the reflection in balance sheet and avoid a transaction. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux OS version 16.04, front accounting version 2.4.7. To practice this tutorial, you must have knowledge of Higher Secondary Commerce and Accounting Principles of Bookkeeping And you should have already set up an organization or a company in Front Accounting. If not, for relevant Front Accounting tutorials, please visit this website. Start the XAM services before you begin working on Front Accounting interface. Let us open the front accounting interface. Open the browser and type localhost slash account and press enter. The login page appears. Type the username as admin and the password. Then click on login button. The front accounting interface opens. We will see how to introduce capital in the business. The journal entry is commence business with capital of rupees 5 lakh. The entry is cash account debit 5 lakh to capital account 5 lakh. Being capital introduced in the business, we will pass a journal entry for this. Click on banking and general ledger tab and then click on journal entry link. In the journal date field, you can see the default date is set as today. We can also see the reference number for the transaction. This is auto generated. Click on the account description drop down box and select the option cash. Click on the debit text box and type the amount as 5 lakhs. To save the debit entry, click on the add item button in that row. Again, click on the account description drop down box and select the option capital. Then click on the credit text box and type the amount as 5 lakhs. To save the credit entry, click on the add item button in that row. Now click on the memo field for the narration of this journal entry. Here type the text being capital introduced in the business. To save the entry, Click on Process Journal Entry button at the bottom of the window. You can see the message at the top which says Journal Entry has been entered. You can also see the options View this Journal Entry, Enter New Journal Entry, Add an Attachment and Back. Let us explore this one by one. Click on View this Journal Entry link. A new pop-up window opens. It shows the general ledger transaction details that we have entered just now. Print link is to get print out of this transaction for our future reference. Click on close link to close this window. Now click on the enter new journal entry option. A new page opens for the next new journal entry. Pause the tutorial and do the following assignment. Pass a journal entry for goods purchased for rupees 50,000. The entry is office furniture and equipment account debit to cash account for rupees 50,000. Memo purchased office furniture and equipment for rupees 50,000. Click on process the journal entry. Now click on the add an attachment link. We can see the fields, transaction, description and attach file. Attach file is to attach any document related to journal entry which is passed. Let me attach a sample voucher which I have already created and saved on my computer. Click on the browse button and locate the folder in which the file is saved. I will select the sample voucher.pdf file from my desktop folder. You can see the file attachment here now. 
This voucher has been provided in the code file link of this tutorial. Please download and make use of the file while practicing. Then click on the add new button. A message appears that says attachment has been inserted. Also, you can see that the uploaded file has been added to the table. Click on back option to go back. Next, let us see the reflection of this journal entry in the balance sheet. To do so, click on the banking and general ledger tab. Then click on the balance sheet drill down link. We can see the transition is reflected here. In the future, when we have many more journal entries, the displayed list would be longer. Next, let us see how to void a transaction. Click on the setup tab. In the maintenance panel, click on void a transaction link. This option is used to delete or remove an entry. We can see the reference number which shows the entry. Let's select reference 002 slash 2019 to void a transaction. Click on the icon in the GL column to verify the details before deleting the entry. We can see this entry for good purchase for Rs 50,000 for office furniture and equipments. Click on the close link at the bottom of the window. Now click on the icon in the select column. On selecting the icon, the transaction number and voiding date appears. Click on the void transaction button. It displays a message. Are you sure you want to void this transaction? This action cannot be undone. I will click on the proceed button. Immediately, another message appears and says selected transaction has been voided. That's how we can void a transaction whenever it is required. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned to pass a journal entry, see the reflection in balance sheet, void a transaction. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more detail, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD Government of India. The script and the video has been contributed by Spoken Tutorial team. This is Pratik Kamle signing off. Thanks for joining.